I hear that more and more people are asking about arm lifts. And in fact, CBS has reported that arm lifts are up 4,300% since Michelle Obama has been showing off her biceps um, in her beautiful evening gowns. In fact, the American Associ uh, Society of Plastic Surgeons said that the number of arm lifts um, surgeries, which is known as brachioplasties, increased from being performed from 300 women in 2000 to actually 15,000 women in 2012. And those are some, some significant uh, jumps in, in this procedure. But really, interestingly, I understand that you have a very non-invasive approach to this procedure. So Dr. Hendricks, can you share with us how you do the brachioplasty? Yes. Uh, we uh, were advised in our society that we would expect to see a rise in this. So we knew about it because Michelle Obama had, uh, had, had popularized it or that was really the buzz. Uh, so it, the numbers aren't surprising. Uh, the big problem with the traditional brachioplasty is that there's loose skin and there's extra fat. And the, the extra fat is easy to, to remove with liposuction, but then you have extra skin that's left over, which is a problem. Typically, it's, uh, the, the skin is snipped away and then there's a, there's a scar that's on the inner aspect of the arm. And that's something that uh, can be unsightly, uh, it can be noticeable, it can spell cosmetic surgery, and many people don't want to necessarily have that big scar, and I think that keeps people away. What I can do, not non-invasively, because it is minimally invasively, uh, if, if we had a tool, and I do, to, to tighten the skin or shrink the skin without cutting it away, and that's the Smart Lipo laser. They're using that uh, to, to heat the undersurface of the skin, to shrink the skin, so that you're not left over with the loose skin. And uh, I've performed many brachioplasties uh, within the last year or two, and none of those have involved making the incisions. In fact, I had a patient uh, that I saw two days ago who, as an adult, has never worn a short sleeve shirt. And she showed me, uh, she's now two months post-op, and she showed me a picture of her and her husband in Hawaii on a vacation, oh. and she was wearing for the first time in her life a short sleeve shirt because she wasn't self-conscious about, about showing, showing her arms. She felt comfortable and she felt proportional. And uh, it was healing. It was actually healing for her. It's a, it was a oh, fabulous story. story. Yeah.